This video is about the symptoms caused by vitamin D deficiency, and there are many. How many? Well, table one lists the potential consequences of vitamin D deficiency. Go over them in a second. But to let you know, if you like this information, here's where this image comes from. This is the vitamin D chapter in the D-Flame Diet book. So down on the bottom, you can see the table I organized based upon like mental conditions here. So the only place in this table where mental issues will be discussed are right here. So schizophrenia, depression. This is blood sugar issues. Metabolic syndrome, type 2 diabetes, lifestyle induced. Type 1 diabetes too, but it is an autoimmune disease, so it's not over there by a diet induced disease. What about musculoskeletal problems? You got muscle weakness, muscle aches, osteoporosis, osteoarthritis, rickets, osteomalacia, widespread pain, pseudo fractures, and back pain. There you go. How about immune stuff? Tuberculosis, common cold, bacterial vaginosis, influenza, asthma, and we now know, of course, COVID also needs vitamin D. Or your body needs vitamin D to prevent a severe case of COVID. How about heart disease or cardiovascular disease? Well, you got here's your heart disease, cardiovascular disease, cerebrovascular, and you have vascular disease, so atherosclerosis. Here's hypertension. You have seizures. Here are autoimmune diseases, type 1, multiple sclerosis, Crohn's disease, ulcerative colitis, rheumatoid arthritis, neurodegenerative disorders, Parkinson's and Alzheimer's disease, and various cancers. Huge issue to be uh, deficient in vitamin D. Now, People can be deficient in vitamin D and never get these diseases because multiple pro-inflammatory issues need to be present to push someone into expressing whatever disease they're likely to express based upon their genetic lottery. So the thing we should do is get our vitamin D to normal so we do not have to worry about vitamin D deficiency creating problems for us. Most researchers suggest to get at least 40, up to 40 nanograms. You can see the range, 32 to 100. Some are now saying, get to 70, which I think is probably the smartest place to get to at least. I personally go for 90. That's me. The only time excess vitamin D causes a problem is if you become hypercalcemic. And so I know people who have been as high as 150 nanograms with no symptoms of hypercalcemia. So you can go pretty high. So you just got to just check vitamin D and check serum calcium. That simple to know if you're in the proper range. And people, as I say, they can go very, very high. So vitamin D we are supposed to get from the sun. And so if you wear sunscreen, that promotes vitamin D deficiency. Why do people wear sunscreen? Because they're trying to avoid skin cancer. And the one they're afraid of is malignant melanoma. But here's the thing about malignant melanoma. If it's all about sun exposure, how come melanomas commonly occur in areas that are not exposed to the sun? So melanomas occur where the sun never shines, such as vagina, uterus, cervix, rectum, and colon, upper groin that never sees sun exposure, as well as the armpits that receive very, very little sun exposure. So malignant melanoma is more a pro-inflammatory state that's promoted by multiple pro-inflammatory factors, one of which is actually a lack of sunshine. So what does that mean in terms of sunshine? Well, we should get proper, here, this is what normal sun exposure means throughout a lifetime. Tanning without burning. That's associated with proper vitamin D levels and reduced risk of cancer in general, including malignant melanoma. How, how, how is that? So what skin cancers are caused by too much vitamin D? Mostly squamous cell and basal cell carcinoma. So the main thing we need to do is get our D levels tested and get to, I think, at least 70. That simple. That's all you got to do. But it's not just the only thing you need to do when you think about reducing inflammation because you'll see vitamin D wasn't helpful for this or vitamin D wasn't helpful for that or we're not sure about vitamin D for COVID because that's just one thing. Let's look at the table of contents for the D-Flame diet. So down below, we can see here, overall, how diet causes inflammation, but how body fat causes inflammation, how gluten can cause inflammation, how overgrowth of bacteria in the small intestine due to living on sugar and flour can cause inflammation. 
Nightshades rarely cause inflammation, save for the outliers. And if you eat the wrong fats, mostly omega-6s, they are problematic. So this is up to chapter 19. Here is chapter 28, deflaming with vitamin D. So we've got a bunch of chapters that begin with deflaming with. Deflaming with potassium, alkaline foods, polyphenols, carotenoids, omega-3 fatty acids, magnesium, vitamin D, probiotics. These are the big four supplements to be taking, or really more than like five. So probiotics, vitamin D, magnesium, omega-3 fatty acids, and polyphenols. So the best source of anti-inflammatory polyphenols as a supplement would be ginger and turmeric. Ginger's cheaper, turmeric's more expensive. I think both are equally fine to take and would not worry about taking ginger if I cannot afford to take turmeric. Very, very straightforward. Also, in this book, I've added additional chapters. The fear that people have about fructose and fruit is ridiculous. Here's a chapter I wrote long before, about a year or so, or two, before COVID appeared. Inflammation, nutrition, and the immune system. You can see you've got, now the D-flame ketogenic diet does not mean it's a special ketogenic diet. I just call it the D-flame diet and the D-flame ketogenic diet. Also a new chapter on cannabidiol. Uh, can cannabidiol. <laughs> <laughs> CBD, there you go. And of course, important key points to never forget, but there are multiple deflaming issues that you should know about. So if you just get vitamin D right, but you're living on French fries, haven't had a vegetable in years, and live on meat, cheese, and bread, chances are you're going to be deficient in some lots of key nutrients. So you want to get the diet anti-inflammatory, get up the vegetation, which is what the average person absolutely needs more of, and reduce these pro-inflammatory calories here. It's really that simple. So to find out more and read the book, you can go over to Amazon, get individual copies, or you can go right to the D-Flame website. Click right through to get individual copies via Amazon, or stay at the D-Flame site and get volume discounts. They all have volume discounts for all five of the books. And of course, you see all the social media places to follow if you wish to keep up with D-Flame, the D-Flame information world of things.